Hello and welcome to Deception Pass Info. Today we are in Deception Pass State Park in Washington State and I'm going to share with you 10 fun facts about one of the most amazing trees on our planet, the Western Red Cedar. This tree is the big daddy of them all and lives in the land of giants. Some of the biggest Western Red Cedars are actually right here in Deception Pass State Park. A good place to get up close and personal to these trees is on the Lighthouse Point hike that starts at the Bowman Bay parking lot. These facts you can share with your friends and family and you will amaze and dazzle them. So come on, keep watching, and I will blow your mind about this incredible tree. Our first fact is the Western Red Cedar tree is made of legends. The Coastal Salish people of the Pacific Northwest believe the cedar tree was created from the cedar man who spent his life helping his people by using his gift of knowing the events in the future and preparing the needed supplies. When this man was near the end of his earthly life, the creator spirit came to him and transformed him into a cedar tree. The western red cedar tree became the symbol of unselfish giving by providing shelter, canoes, clothing, and musical instruments to the native people. And it continues to benefiting our planet to this day. Fact number two, the western red cedar tree is named after braids. Placata is the second part of the scientific name and is Latin for the words folded into plates or braided. This reference refers to the pattern of the cedar tree's leaves that look just like braided hair. Fact number three. The western red cedar tree hides thousands of little white butterflies under its leaves. Turn the leaves over and you will see tiny white marks in the shape of butterfly wings. These marks are the tree's stomata and function as the tree's lungs. These tiny holes allow the trees to breathe out clean oxygen for us to breathe and water to drink. Then it takes in carbon dioxide to nourish the tree. Another example of how the cedar tree contributes to life on our planet. Fact number four. The western red cedar tree is an imposter. The western red cedar tree is not a cedar tree. Crazy but true, our beloved Pacific Northwest giant is actually a cypress tree, not a true cedar. True cedar trees come from the Middle East region of the world, but no matter, our giants are beautiful even incognito. What name would you give these amazing trees? Fact number five, the western red cedar tree is the largest tree in the Pacific Northwest. Some of these trees have reached heights of 230 feet. To help you visualize this, if you stack six school buses end to end, you would still have 14 feet of the tree sticking out the top. Here I am walking around the base of a huge cedar tree in the park near Pass Lake. It's hard to describe just how big these wonders of nature are. Some words that come to mind are colossal, towering, huge, immense, or giant. What word would you use? Fact number six, western red cedar trees have reached 1,500 years old. Some of the trees in the park were alive when King Arthur and Camelot were happening. Older trees are likely to exist but are impossible to age because the ancient ones are hollow inside. This makes our cedar trees here some of the oldest trees in the entire Pacific Northwest. Fact number seven, old western red cedar trees are holding candelabras. How can you tell which western red cedars are the oldest? The tops of the oldest cedar trees look like candelabra candlesticks. Summers that are hot and dry are rare in the Pacific Northwest. When this happens, it stretches the cool shade loving western red cedar tree, which results in the top of the tree dying. This leaves dead branches sticking out of the tops of the trees. Since the wood is decay resistant, the dead branches do not fall off like happens in other trees. Instead, the new healthy branch sprouts out from below the dead 
pet tree. The new branch is called a leader. This candelabra effect can be seen in the oldest cedar trees in Deception Pass State Park. As you walk through the forest, keep your eyes on the top of the forest canopy and see if you can spot red cedar trees that are over a thousand years old. Fact number eight, Western red cedar trees can heal sick buildings. Sometimes bacteria, fungi, and viruses can get into buildings and make people sick. The symptoms people display are headaches, allergies, sore throats, just to name a few. The problem arises when you try to get these pathogens out of the building. This is known as sick building syndrome. You can eradicate them with harsh chemicals, but those are toxic to the people working in the building. You can tear down that section of the building and rebuild, but that's not cost effective. Then lo and behold, along comes our amazing Western red cedar tree to the rescue. If you crush the leaves and make a substance called cedar leaf oil, it can cure the sick building and heal up the people. The Western red cedar tree possesses an almost magical chemical that can kill pathogens found in these buildings. Studies have shown that it is not harmful to people when used in vapor form by experts. This makes me want to give a standing ovation to our magical tree. Western red cedar tree leaves smell like pineapple when you crush them. So crush them. Oh, that smells good. Here's my pineapple. Oh, it smells so good. Yep, smells just like it. Fact number 10, Western red cedar trees make up the most biomass on the planet. The Pacific Northwest receives a high quantities of rainfall and rarely sees forest fires. This makes for a unique set of circumstances that enable these giant trees to thrive and transform the forest into the largest biomass of any ecosystem on our planet, even more than the tropical rainforest. This is what makes it so fun to walk in Deception Pass State Park. Everywhere you look, there's massive amount of living organisms, all different in colors and shapes. They live in harmony, each benefiting the other. Western red cedar trees are immortal. Well, almost. If you see one of these logs from a western red cedar tree fallen on the forest floor that has signs of decay on it, like ferns growing on it, kind of falling apart, that means it's been laying on the floor for over a hundred years, which is amazing. Take one of these pieces of wood and smell it. Still smells like cedar. Fabulous. We've come to the end of our fun facts about this incredible western red cedar tree, but not the end of our fun. Come on over to my website at deceptionpassinfo.com where there's tons of information about Deception Pass State Park and surrounding area that will make your visit here amazing. Sign up for your free gift of the three best easy hikes in this park that will give you all the insider tips on those hikes. Thank you for watching this video and remember, blessed are the curious for they shall experience adventures. Happy adventuring.